fresh from number 10 Downing Street. Joe Scott is right here. What a year, what a year you're having. My goodness me, there was the, you know, the small matter of the Euros. <laughs> well done again. <laughs> then you. Queen of the Jungle. Thanks. Absolutely incredible. And now, of course, it's kind of like the treble. Um, you're going to be captaining the England team. Yeah. In Soccer Aid. Yeah. That's great, Jill. It's oh. lovely to see you. Oh, you too as well. <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited about Soccer Aid. Obviously, it's a game that I've watched uh, for so many years and obviously all the work they do with UNICEF, sure. giving child an opportunity to play every child around the world. And I think it's just such an important cause. So, yeah, such an honour for me. Oh, it's fantastic. And of course, you know, we've had for the past couple of years, men and women in the teams, which is, which is <laughs> terrific. Our very own Scarlett Douglas... She hasn't played football before, Joe. <laughs> and she's going to be playing for you. Are you going to be picking her, do you think? Well, she played <laughs> for um, Arsenal when she was younger. So, so she's, she's done a wee she bit. Hasn't, she hasn't played for a long time. Right. So, yeah, I'll definitely be selecting her. She's oh, she my sounds, mate. She sounds fantastic. Well, of course. You go, you go back to all the jungle times. It's absolutely terrific. Do you think we'd ever see that in football? We'd ever see a mixed team? It would be difficult, wouldn't obviously. It? Yeah, be I think though, it's just it? yeah, it would be interesting. <laughs> Imagine lining up uh, with say like David Beckham and that back in the day. But yeah. this is what this game provides, like yeah. the the fact that Paul scheme. Scholes is going to be playing uh, one of the players I looked up to when I was younger. So yeah, it's just a great opportunity to have some fun. I think it's brilliant. It's such a great idea, and of course you were at number ten yesterday. So this yeah. this is a great role that you've got now because you know because of what you achieved and what you have achieved in your career, you continue to achieve. You've got a really good voice and, God, you're using it. <laughs> it's just tremendous. It's really good. Yeah, well, obviously, when we went to 10 Downing Street, that was on the back of Lot of Wuba Moy, Leah Williamson saying straight after the U was, what's our legacy? What's our legacy? Exactly. And to be honest, the day they put it in the group message was straight after the U was final, so I had a bad head. Um, but, yeah, it was an honour to be there yesterday and, obviously, hear that girls are going to get equal access to, to football and other sports in yeah. PE because there was only around 62% schools doing that. So, yeah... This is going to be great. It's really important, Jill. Yeah. Apart, and, and especially, we've just been talking about, you know, people being obese and, and wanting to lose weight. It's got to start with kids. We've got to get them interested in sport and yeah. loving it and being like you, being passionate <laughs> about it as well. Yeah, it's so good. I always say it's not about playing football at the highest level. It's about kind of the mental health element, getting out in the fresh air, making friends. And I've been working with some great companies, Starling Bank, for example. They've invested £200,000 um, into grassroots football, so they're providing kits. Um, and also, if we're saying we need more girls to be playing football, we also need to be providing safe environments. So they're also educating coaches and stuff like that so it's, good. it's definitely moving in the right direction it really is and and surely it's about time as well that we get to the stage where we're going to see women managers we've seen it now which is great before when you saw women sitting commenting on football yeah it was like oh no yeah. doesn't matter it's it's yeah. it, it's fine nobody nobody even comments on it now so wouldn't it be great i mean i know the first woman manager is probably going to have a tough time <laughs> you know of a man of a male team yeah and then it's like yeah yeah, I always say that though about females. Pushing all the time. Yeah. yeah, I think in male-dominated industries, sometimes just by being invisible, you're doing such a good job. And I say, as soon as that first female makes that breakthrough, it won't even be something we talk about because they're being invisible. They're giving young girls another dream. They might not be a good footballer, but they see a female physio, female manager, and exactly. they think, I can do that. Exactly, I can be so, part of that world yeah. because you love that world and you, you want to be. And of course, it's teamwork as well. Yeah. You know, we saw you in the jungle. You were brilliant at that. <laughs> I think that's why everybody, you know, you're so endearing anyway, but people really love to see you because you were part of the team. You would be the person that would be like, somebody was a bit down, you're, you know, helping them. Yeah. And as well, you know, some of, some of the girls that come and play football, they might never actually make it as huge big football stars, yeah. but what they will have learned. All yeah, the skills exactly. That learned, it doesn't exactly. matter what job they go into. That's going to be an amazing thing. <laughs> exactly. Like, I didn't think I'd be equipped to go and live in a jungle, but through sport and wanting to help people. That first challenge when Charlene was obviously on the plank at the top of a yeah, building. Yeah, yeah. I'm so scared of heights, but kind of that sports instinct of always making sure you look after others uh, kind of kicked in. And that's a life lesson as well. We should be doing that more so, just being a good person. It's quite easy just to check in with people. So, yeah, sport is just, yeah, of I just course. love sport. I love and I it. thought as well, the way you handled Matt Hancock was fantastic. <laughs> Because you just treated them exactly the same as everybody else. Yeah. I mean, he. <laughs> oh dear! Remember those days. Uh -oh. But you did, and that, and that's that's the way it should be. Yeah. Just treat everybody the same. Yeah. It doesn't matter where you're from, who you are. 
we're all just trying to go in for their lives. Aren't yeah, we? I think when we entered the jungle and you put on that uniform, I yeah. think it's a, a sense of belonging, isn't it? And yeah, it was just down to kind of getting the stars and getting the food. So yeah, it was it was a great experience and I've made some fantastic friends out. You'll have them it. forever. So yeah. Forever and ever and ever. Absolutely. <laughs> now look, the last I think it was the last four out of five soccer aids ended in penalties. Is yeah. That right? The yeah. dreaded P word. Um, <laughs> do you want to have a go for a laugh? I mean, I just think this is going to be such good fun. I'm going to go in goals. I've got high heels on. <laughs> what have you got? Uh, yeah, not... I've got shoes on, but oh, they're not, not high bad. heels. So, no. yeah. Will we try? OK, let's have a go. Do you want to? Can I Right, OK, sure. then. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> da, 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 da. Be careful. I know, I know. <laughs> let's see how many goals you can get. I'll put my gloves on. Yeah. I'll put my... Now, look, they've still got the security tag on them, Jill. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> Somebody nicked them this morning. See? Right, so I'm going to take penalties against you. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Let me get my gloves on right. first. I'm and a bit um, scared here. And you know what? If you've, if you're, you know, if you're thinking, if you're at a loose end at any time, yeah. please come up and uh, play for Dundee United. Okay. We're at the bottom of the league. Okay. And we could do with you, Jill. <laughs> we could do with you. Just, just put on the tangerine and black. I can't even get these blinking things. Are on. you insured if you get injured? No, it's fine. You ready? Right. I mean, one, okay, that's one. Two. Oh, oh two. Step that way. So oh, oh, yes. I saved one. I you saved, saved it. it. <laughs> no, okay, that one went away. Oh, you're oh, very good, good at this. You fit well. I'm not actually good at penalties. You are You're doing penalties. well. You're scoring more than, you, than, oh. than I'm saving. Ready? Oh, Paul. Ready? See if you can get this off. Oh, get 10 seconds left. Oh, post again. Another ball. I'll fix my, I'll fix my goal. Oh, oh, good save. I saved that with my, with my high heel. Yeah. Oh, well, I think you won, Jill. No, I think I think, I think you, you were won. very good, to be honest. Very no, I good. think you won. But like I say, if you're not doing anything at the weekend, uh, come with me <laughs> to see Dundee United and we'll sneak you on the pitch. Oh, and good luck. Thank you. Good luck with everything that you do. I think it's absolutely fantastic. We'll get these back to the shop because, the, <laughs> like I say, the security tag's still on them.